Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to get user's current location in your iOS application. As you can see in YouTube thumbnail that we are trying to get that blue dot. So let's get started. Here is a fresh new project which I already created and I ran the simulator as well so we don't waste time building. Uh, let's jump into the main dot storyboard. First of all we will drag a map kit view and give some constraints so it looks good and here it will be zero 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 and add four constraints and we are good let me just so okay uh, here we are and now we need to connect this map view to our view controller so let's get our assistant editor so the shortcut for assistant editor is control command alt enter and control drag and here you can say my map uh, view and enter and uh, it will throw some error but we'll fix it soon so once again let's get back to our normal view so control command alt enter and now we will search for our view controller file so our shortcut to search for file is command shift o and search for the file name it's pretty fast right like once you get used to it you are really fast uh, which is good uh, use mouse as less as possible and import map kit import core location and now you can see the error goes away and now we need a location manager so let location manager equal to cl location manager not delegate we do need delegate but not here and bam and so to for delegation we will create extension so extension so it's just cleaner right and view controller and cl location cl location manager delegate and i will come back to this later uh, for now okay uh, the thing we need to do is so where Okay, invalid character, replace this with one. Okay. Yep, uh, view controller. And here we will say location manager dot delegate equal to self. And we can. so if you remember from your past experiences, when you try to use location in some application, when you first install the app it will ask for permission so this is what we are trying to do so first let's get the permission so location manager dot request when in use authorization so this will ask for permission from the user uh, to allow to use the location uh, one uh, last thing we need to do before we uh, run the simulator is we need to add a field to info.plist so on the first row just hit plus and you will type in capital P R I V A C E. So that's privacy space hyphen space and location with capital L location when in use description and description will be let app use location. Okay. For better user X P I E R E N C E. Uh, if I'm wrong with the experience spelling, just put it in the comments. I'm really bad at English. Yeah, anyways, I'm learning. Uh, so view controller and let's just run the simulator and let's see what happens. It should work. It's supposed to work. And yep, it's asking for permission. So just allow while using app. So now what we need to do is we need to get that blue dot. So we'll get that blue dot. And here. Uh, so uh, jump into the extension and start typing update something and we what we are looking for is location manager did update locations and Here, okay, so first we will say region let region region uh, equal to mk coordinate region uh, open and center and span so center will be locations and square so first uh, first location dot coordinate and uh, so this location comes from here uh, and now what we need is a span so as you can see here what we are looking for is mk coordinate span 
So just create MK coordinate span with open braces. And here we need latitude and longitude. So this is just span which you will be covering. So let's make it accurate. So 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. And here just passing your span. And bam, we are here. So now we just need to assign this region to our map view. So we will say my map view dot set region and region and animated is true. And one last thing we are looking to do is my map view dot show user locations is equal to true. And now we can go ahead, uh, just wait a second. So we need to start updating the location so that our app knows that, okay, now I need to go and start fetching for new location, right? Um, okay, so location manager dot uh, start updating location. Okay, the reason why you need to do, do this is, so let's say like last time you traveled to like, let's say you traveled to Japan and that's where you used your location last time. So it will be there like in Japan. And if you're not updating in your current application, it is still in Japan. So please update and let's run. Okay, hope it works. Okay, it zoomed in with some error. I personally think, okay. So one thing we can do is debug location and Apple. And now you can see it. So sometimes this, uh, so once again, uh, don't click the Xcode, okay? You are clicking the simulator. So as you can see, like here, options are changing. So Xcode, simulator, Xcode, simulator. So click on simulator, go to window. No, don't go to window. Go to debug, go to location, and you can simulate anything. Just make sure it's not none. So you can do like city run or something, and it will, you, you can see like it's, it's like walking slow. And maybe you can do like, freeway drive so this will be like little fast or something uh come on oh i think it's just traffic oh yeah it's moving okay anyways uh please try and if you have any other uh, any further questions put it in the comments if you have any suggestions or you want me to make some particular video do post in comments and if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content until next time